A lot of people are intimidated by the scientific argument against animal experiments. Um, virtually anyone can talk about ethics. Uh, we can show uh, pictures, photographs, videos to the public and shock people because animal experiments are shocking. They are shockingly cruel. Um, but as a veterinary surgeon, I like to talk about the scientific argument. I like to put forward the scientific argument against animal experimentation. If we want to study human diseases, let's study human tissues, human cells. You will come up against the counter argument that human cells do not represent the whole living organism. Well, that's true. Um, but then the whole living rat does not represent the whole living cat or the whole living dog or the whole living human. So, so that, that's an answer to that argument. But we're not just talking about human cells. Okay, that's, that's only the first stage. When we want to find out whether a chemical or a drug can harm humans, we begin with testing on human cells. It is possible today to obtain virtually every single cell type in the human body and experiment on those cells and see how those cells respond and react to a chemical or a drug. Once we've passed the cell stage, we can then go on to cell culture, in other words, groups of cells. The next stage would be, for example, organ slices, slices of kidney tissue, slices of uh, liver, in order to represent the interaction between different groups of cells. The stage after that could be, for example, computer modeling. Um, it could be what is known as lab on a chip. Lab on a chip really represents the different compartments in the body. Let's think about if we take a drug, if we swallow a pill, that drug comes into contact first with our stomach. So we can take cells that line the stomach to mimic the stomach. Uh, the next compartment in the lab on a chip would be, for example, blood cells, because that drug would be absorbed through the stomach into the bloodstream. So we could use blood cells in the, in the next compartment. The next compartment would probably be liver cells, because that's where that drug would land. Um, and then perhaps kidney cells. So we're, we're starting to approach the, the whole living system, the complexity of the whole living system. Is it perfect? No, of course it's not perfect. But then in biology, there is no 100% perfect system. But the choice, the choice is between uh, incomplete human data that is relevant to the species in question, in other words, humans, or complete animal data, because we can get complete animal data, but that is irrelevant to the, to the species in question, which is human beings. So to sum up, as a veterinary surgeon, but also as a compassionate human being, I'm opposed to all animal experiments on ethical as well as on scientific grounds. Animal experimentation has to be one of the most grotesque errors committed in medical history. And the sooner we realize that error, the better it's going to be, obviously for animals, but also for human health.